Hi guys, in this video I would be showing you how you can reverse an animation in After Effects in 5 simple steps. As you guys can see, the low third that I've created for my channel, it just stops at the end. So what I would be doing is, I would be making this animation go back where it came from. So to do that, the first thing that we have to do is, we have to select all these you can select them by pressing ctrl and clicking on them right click on this and click on pre-compose and if you want you can rename this click on ok now we have to go halfway through our animation and this is where my lower third stops animating so I would be leaving the current time indicator over here and I want this lower third to stay like this for a second or so. So I would be leaving the current time indicator over here and now what we need to do is we need to press alt and right bracket so to cut the remaining part. And if you are a Mac user, you can press and hold option and right bracket to cut the remaining part. Make sure that this is selected and press Ctrl D to make a duplicate copy. Now select both by pressing Ctrl, right click, go to Keyframe Assistant click on sequence layers make sure that this is unchecked leave it as it is and click on ok this is how my low third looks right now the animation is just repeating right now no worries what we need to do now is we need to press ctrl and deselect this one by clicking on it and we need to right click on this go to time time reverse layer and you can go ahead and select this one now by pressing ctrl and clicking on it and let's just see how my lower third looks now pretty neat right and to use the animation that you have created in your future projects what you guys can do is you can click on composition you can click on add to render queue and now over here click on lossless here you guys need to select quick time and you need to select RGB plus alpha in channels and click on OK and click on output you can give it a name okay I would call this low third four you can click on save and now you can click on render okay so it's done let's just check how the rendered file looks like it looks pretty cool I wanted to let you know guys that the low third animation that I've created it has a transparent background so if I want I can use this low third animation in my future videos as well and I will show you how you guys can do that so all you guys need to do is you guys simply need to drag and drop this file over the video sequence where you want it to appear so let's just go ahead and play the video
What's up guys welcome to Amped Up Tech. Today I would be showing you how to create a YouTube channel, how to link your AdSense account to your YouTube channel and how to monetize your videos. So let's get started. So this is how you guys can use the animation that you have created in your future videos. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would really help the channel to grow and your help would be highly appreciated. You have a great day ahead.